Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Planet Nomads. And I'm actually recording this episode just after I recorded part one of the the all-new Big Base bus. Uh, one of the things I want to do, first of all, is I actually do want to get this miner up and running. Uh, I sort of redesigned it to use only the rotating plates instead of the hinges, because I think the hinges are causing a problem, because two times I tried lo loading up this save file, to record this particular episode. Uh, the first time there was a major lag spike and this thing was nowhere to be found. The second time there was a big lag spike and then this thing started flipping over and rolling over and, and the bogeys were going all over the place because of these hinges. So I think that's what the problem is. Uh, another one thing I want to do too is I do want to double up the wheels because we had clearly didn't have enough power. But to do that, I'm going to move the wheels out, and I think I'm going to put the center right on this part here, so the wheels will stick out uh, one or two blocks. It's not going to be that big of a deal. But I want to do that, and I want to get the miners set up, and I'm pretty sure if I use the rotating plates, it should not be a problem. So we are going to go ahead and do that, and see if we can get this thing actually moving faster than walking speed.
I am done. So yes, this is actually a lot safer using the, the rotating plates than uh, using the hinges. And I have been checking to make sure that everything is there. Uh, my center mass is supposedly where it should be. Yes, it is. Because I got more weight there. And same with this one. That's fine. And that's fine. As long as you, I don't get two of them on this line, I know that everything is connected. Uh, I ho hope nothing actually sticks. Uh, one thing you need uh, you should keep in mind, if you already want to use the conveyor connectors for something like this for whatever t type of reason uh, each conveyor line that section that has the conveyor connectors has to have a con container or they do not connect uh, the only thing i'm going to be worried about myself is if a this is going to bind here because this has to rotate uh, this way back and forth as it lifts up so it might catch on there i don't know um might have to try to move it somewhere else. I don't know where it's going to work out, though. Uh, it might be one of those things where I have to come out, go up, and then go back in. Sort of like... Uh, nothing I have set up here. I've got those ones set up, but... That might work as well. I can try that. Actually, that might... That might actually work. The only other one of the two is gonna make sure that, that doesn't connect or that does connect. But anyway, so we'll get to that in a second. First thing we're gonna do. Well, first thing I'm gonna do before we go any further is I'm gonna save this bad boy just in case. Uh, as you noticed, I did have some trouble with the suspension. I don't know what causes that. I always had an issue with the the big suspension. Uh, the way you can tell if it's going to cause you problems or not, when you place the wheel on the, the suspension itself, it should bounce a little bit. If it doesn't move, then you have to take the suspension off and rebound, uh, remount it. I don't know if it's because of the blocks that were under, up top, or if it was too close to the other wheels on the inside, or too close to the ceiling. I'm not too sure. But I do have everything wired. Everything is all configured. I do have isolation switches on the inside for the wheels and for uh, the, the miner, the, the mining crane, the mining claw. We'll take a look at that in a second here. So I got the engines turned off. I have that thing up to upstairs turned off. So first, let's go ahead and fire some juice in here. Everything lights up good. I set a switch up for the headlights too. Now I want to make sure that everything is connected here. Oh, is it alt? Yes. Okay, so two printers, food and drink machine, armory, greenhouse, refinery, three compact containers, the mining rig, and two large containers. Good, everything is here. Nice. So, uh, first things we're gonna, first thing we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go for a little test drive. See if this thing actually moves. Now they got 24 wheels on it. Did I not hook up those wires, did I, or did I turn the lights off? Oh, I probably should make my little landing pad a little, little bigger. Oh yes, helps if I actually connect that to the main power. There, now we got headlights. Alright. So, that being said, let us take out the jack. Uh, let's take out this one. Don't hurt me. Come on. This is going to hurt. Ooh. You won't catch me doing that in real life. Oh god, no. Alright, so she is planted. Nice, let's see if she drives. So as you can see, the same same idea. They're all sort of pivoting on each other, but we have 24 wheels. They're all set to speed right now, and we'll see how it does. I have no idea if I have enough power to do this. No, really. I really don't have enough power for this. Wait a minute. I 
I think I didn't connect something. Possibly. Oh, hang on. I got 24 wheels. 24 wheels and how much power do they use? 700. I shouldn't be maxed out. Unless I forgot to connect something here. That is connected to there. That is connected to there. That is not actually connected to the wheels. Aha. Hey, now we got power. Okay. And we're only using 34%. So let's get build vision off, get rid of that leg, and take this thing for a test crawl. Hmm. Definitely got to do and doctor up that skirt a little bit. Or put that skirt on a little bit. Oh, yeah. Needs torque. I don't think I'm still planted anywhere, am I? No, I'm not. I need torque, so I'll be right back. All right, there's torque. So let's see if this actually moves more than five kilometers an hour. I'm sure it will. Oh yeah, she's moving. Ha ha. Can I zoom out a little more? Of course I can. All right, with mining rig in tow. Nice. Old mining rig up in the air. <laughs> wow. And as she moves. Slowly, but it moves. That's 24 at torque. This thing weighs probably about 250 tons now with the mining rig. So, speaking of mining rig, let's test this thing out. So, I'm going to go ahead and turn... The, the wheels off because I'm going to be controlling that thing and I actually forgot to configure the air blades. So when I go over here, it's like a thing from War of the Worlds. Okay, so let's see here. We need we need the directional and. The rotational going the same way, and I have to hook up the power again. Uh, let's see where did I go go on that one. Let's actually get up here so I can get a better look. Okay, I was going the right way. That is good. Now where is that switchboard? Right here. Okay, the only thing I might have to do is this connection right here from the mining rig all the way to the, the midsection here. I might have to add a second switchboard here and do a, the old reconnection thing because it's right at the limit. But anyways, let's go ahead and turn that on and let's see what happens. So I should just have to hover up. Oh, not like that. See if I can lift that, that other end. Come on. Uh, so not quite working like I had planned. I think it's either stuck on something or it's too heavy. Uh, I think it's too heavy or the physics just don't want to work. Let's see if we can bring it up. Bring it all the way up. There's that disconnection I was telling you about. Well... What do you say we put more air blades on? That always works. And come on, the other way, other way. Okay. So we uh, shut that off. 
can you stop swinging please and I will have to throw a block on there and since air blades are here that will have to be a conveyor yeah things are slightly like you would build vision <laughs> just slightly uh, nothing's new to me So much lag with that. All right, now for another air blade, if I can. Okay, and then maybe, just maybe, we'll get one on the other end, just because. And I kind of anticipated that I was going to need at least more th more than two. That's why I put that cross section on there. And that doesn't go there. Come on. There we go. Right, and we uh, do the old... Oh. Actually, I'm not going to bother configuring it. Because I just need it for the extra lift. Okay, connect that and that. Fire it up. Lifts up on its own. That's fine. Let's see if we can actually get this boom all the way up. Are you actually stuck on something? What's going on here? It just doesn't want to lift now. I don't know why. Yeah, I'm holding space. It's not doing anything. So we'll bring it back down if I can. I think I just need to put a stop on it. Alright, let's get out. And up we go. And we'll go with conveyors, of course. Put two here. So, do, 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 do. Is that past? Yes, it is. And this is just to stop it from actually going further than I want. So, it shouldn't actually flip over anymore. If anything, it's going to lift this whole thing right up. Or break the game again. With me, anything's possible. Okay, you just don't want to work now. Yes, you do not want to work. All right, well, I'll try one more thing then. Take stabilization off on these ones. No, not the uh, hover mode. Uh, stabilization. Yes. And see what that does. Uh, sort of worked. see my front wheels turning that's why I had the uh, power cut off uh, I don't think the games actually can understand what it needs to do here 
I think that what the problem is. Just getting confused. Let's get in for a closer look. Well, that should have worked. Maybe if I put an air blade over there. Let's actually try that one more shot here. At least it's not a satellite. At least it drives. It's always a plus. Okay, where am I going to stick this one? Maybe... Hmm. Maybe I'll have to do it on the side here. Let's go like that. And... Like so. Oh, really? Oh, come on. Uh, where's my flyer? All the way over here. Wow. It's almost like we drove this thing. And mine are just swinging away. Dang it, I wanted that to work. And I was trying to think of so many different ways of getting that set up and have it actually working. And unfortunately, it made me look like an idiot. Just like that. But, let's give this one more shot. Uh, I don't know if we'll actually be taking this one out on a, on a little excursion. But, we shall see what happens. Yeah, lift, damn you, lift. That's an autosave. Maybe. Well, for one, maybe it helps if I actually connect the power to those two. Which I didn't. I thought I did. Let's try it without. Let's try it first. There we go. Come on. Come on, you can do it. Lift, lift. Oh, I think it is stuck. I don't know where to find out. Take. All right, well, that answers my question. not connected. It doesn't want to go down. Okay, I'll try one more time with uh, stabilization on again and see what happens. not doing much and that one little air blade is not helping well proof of concept it does technically work just not the way I intended but all that matters is that this big bad bad boy drives uh, it's a plus on that one turn the engine back on hop back in and we're off well, I think we're going to call this a success. I was actually going to give up on it, and I thought, well, the hell with it. Let's keep going and see what we can do. And we have a mobile base. So, anyways, I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed If you did, leave me a like. Uh-oh. And I'll see you.
in the next one. Later. <laughs>